Let's talk earnings. I mean, I feel like earnings season is never over. So joining me to talk about that and tell us the details is Jonathan Corpina. Hello. How was your weekend? It was great. Thanks for having me here. Awesome. Okay, Jonathan. So still the topic is trade war. What kind of impact will trade war have on this next earnings season? Uh, you know what? I don't think we're going to have we're going to see a major impact from it yet just because we've been talking about this for so long. The ball's been going back and forth between the US and China and who's who's going to tariff more uh, from a dollars and cents point of view. And I think once those tariffs are in place, it's going to take quite some time to really figure out what that impact is going to be to the bottom line of some of these companies. So yes, there is headline risk, but I don't think we're going to see direct impact to financial statements in the near future. So is the worry out of the market again? I don't know if it's out of the market. Um, it's just kind of cyclical, right? So we've got different headlines that keep coming back and forth. Sometimes tariff headlines move the market. Sometimes they don't. But we know that conversation is still sitting out there. So I think we're just waiting for the next headline. Well, as far as earnings go, uh, so far so good. Now we're going to get hit with the banks on Friday. And some of these banks are expected to report flat trading revenue. First of all, how is that possible with the pickup in volatility we saw the past quarter? Right. So I think there's many different factors that are associated with that. Uh, the financial sector has been hit pretty hard over the last you know couple of weeks. Yeah. So I think we're hoping to see some bounce that's there. Um, yes, there has been a lot of volatility, but that doesn't mean or translate directly to higher trading, right? Just for myself, to watching the markets move um, during this quarter, we've seen a lot of 1% moves. There's just less activity. There's less participants playing. They're on the sidelines watching. So I don't think that can directly translate to trading revenue. But from the financial sector there, I think uh, overall, everyone's looking forward to uh, getting some boost out of that area. Yeah, so how will they beat? It's going to be difficult for them to beat. Um, I think they've done a very good job, as far as analysts are concerned, about managing expectations, bringing that bar in a little bit. And finally, as we're getting into the second quarter, we're going to see some impact from tax reform that was put in place at the end of last year, um, and also interest rate moves that we've seen so far this year. So I think those two factors might help them as far as uh, solidifying their revenue. Well, one thing we can bank on is seeing you every Tuesday, except not next Tuesday. You are, you're having a vacation, right? I will. I'll be in Europe next week. We can do a, uh, a report from there if you want. That would be awesome. But you know what? I think you should enjoy it. You deserve it. And thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you. Always a pleasure.